I have to play Pumpkaboo now. That's the problem. Okay. But if I Pumpkaboo... Okay, we're going to have to 4D chess here. Crown Zenith is introducing the last VMAX probably ever. And that last VMAX is Pikachu VMAX. It is a very intriguing card because it has some potential with its damage output that I find very intriguing and wanted to put it to the test within the context of an Arceus deck. I'm Jet from InThirdPerson.com. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about this Arceus Pikachu VMAX deck. We're not going to spend too much time talking about Arceus. You know that it does like 180 damage with the double turbo and accelerates energy to the bench. And we are going to be accelerating to Pikachu VMAX, which has 310 HP, 2 retreat, and it has the move GMAX Thunder for 3 lightning and 1 colorless does 250 damage and with a choice belt you get up to 280 damage which then allows you to one shot every v star in the game except for reggie gigas v star which no one plays it is a lot of damage not that many decks can hit 310 hp clean which makes it a very tantalizing attack option also hits lugia for weakness hits palkia for weakness it it's pretty sick and on top of that uh, we've got Flying Pikachu in the deck. We do have 2-2 two -two of the Pikachu V and the V Max, but we don't want to get rid of Flying Pikachu because there are a number of matchups that you're not going to win without the Flying Pikachu. Stuff like a Soul Rock Lunatone, stuff like um, Reggie Gigas, stuff like um, certain types of Lost Box decks are going to be a really tough time unless you have flying Pikachu VMAX in your deck. Of course, with the move Max Balloon does 160 damage and your opponent's basic Pokemon cannot attack next turn. So this card comes in pretty clutch. Supporting us for Arceus, we've got 4-3 line of Arceus, 2-2 two, two, Bibaro line to help us draw some cards. We've got one Crobat to help us draw some more cards up to six. We've got a Pumpkaboo for bumping stadiums. And we've got one Drapion V specifically for the Mew matchup. For trainer cards, I've, I like having two types of escapes. I got one escape rope and one switch. We've got a lot of Pokemon search here with two Evo Incense, four Quick Ball, and four Ultra Ball so that we maximize our opportunities of getting Arceus V-Star on turn two, as well as like our Beebrols and our Pikachus and so on. We run four Paths to the Peak, heavy path build, trying to stop those Pokemon V decks with abilities and EX decks going forward. You might want to change the split here to incorporate something like Lost City or um, Temple of Sinnoh to try and slow down stuff like a Lost Box, like a Lugia. Right now, we're kind of playing an old school Flying Pikachu Arceus with just four Path to the Peak. I've got two copies of Boss's Orders. I have one copy of Sharon's Care, which is a debatable one. You might want to go with a third copy of Boss instead. I like having Sharon's Care in the event of having to go into Flying Pikachu. You can just take a damaged Arceus off the board or just using that to stall for time, especially in a world where, yeah, where you just need that to save that Arceus and avoid dropping two prizes in that moment. We got three copies of Marnie, two research to help us cycle through our cards a little faster. One copy of Raihan, which I think is a little more important here because Pikachu is a very energy hungry card requiring four energy, three of which is lightning, which also affects our energy splits here a little bit as well. I've got one copy of Big Parasol to avoid stuff like your Star Requiems and your Lost Mines and Amazing Destruction from Evil Tall. And you, you definitely want at least one of these if you can find room for two. Maybe you want that as well. Maybe you take out one of the choice belts for that opportunity that actually might be the play um if you if you're gonna fight with just one pikachu v max i personally have two so that if we charge up two pikachu v max both can hit for 280 and then for our energy 12 energy total i go with three double turbo which is a little thin uh we also got one capture energy and i i cut one double turbo energy to fit in one more basic lightning energy because Pikachu VMAX is very energy hungry and you, you gotta have the lightning energy in there to power it up. So um, it's, it's not perfect, right? Like Arceus can get you three out of four energy 
off of the oh what is that move called trinity nova but on the following turn you do have to find a fourth energy to put onto the pikachu so it's not as seamless as something like an arceus duraludon or an arceus giratina you do have to find that fourth energy but it does very much work and in our play on on stream we actually won a lot with this deck that being said most of the the winning was from arceus and pikachu but there were times there were times where pikachu v max was actually the mvp let me show you hey sakari welcome back how are you doing oh god um this is not good okay let's go pikachu here and we'll we'll continue here vulpix is kind of bad in the sense that it will block attacks from it will block attacks from pokemon with special energy and unfortunately we have a horrible hand right now I, we do run a lot of Paths of the Peak, which will help slow that down. And I think Pikachu actually one-shots the Vulpix. But we really need, like, I, ideally a top deck of Marnie here. And we can make something happen. You're doing all right? Awesome. That's amazing to hear. So you're thinking of playing Greedent with Oma Star. Use the tool which makes your V-Star power. Put the damage counters till opponent's Pokemon has 100 HP remaining. I actually ran into that deck. I ran into a version of that deck yesterday and I was playing it against the with my Lost Box Pikachu deck and I obliterated it. Um the the problem I I remember when when Silver Tempest first came out and I played against an Omastar deck. I was running Palkia V-Star. They're playing Omastar with like all the the Lugia stuff, the Evil Tall, the Radiant Charizard. And they destroyed me. And I was just like, wait, what? How how is this happening? Why, why, what? And um as it turns out, I I then tried to play the deck and it was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. Um, I find Oma Star to be incredibly clunky to set up. And then even after you set up Oma Star, you're probably going to get two hit KO'd. And then you have to find the evolutions for whatever the other things are. It's really messy. Really messy. Already done. No, I mean, try it. Try it. I think it's always worth trying ideas. I'm just sh sharing the counterpoints. Uh, how's the parenting? Excellent question. It's, it's wonderful. It's hard, but it's also the best. It is, uh, I, okay, do we, I really want this matchup because yes, the Arceus can't hit through it, but the Pikachu can, but we really need, oh, they're running Arceus as well. I, I need a Marnie here in the worst way. And they're not even going to bench the, okay. Uh, what's the, what's the best play? This is actually really depressing here like i could swing into this but we're not even gonna knock this out it, it, we're gonna do 110 we're gonna do 90 damage on a radiant gardevoir and that's just not worth it so vulpix blocks both special energies too oh it blocks abilities yeah arceus has an ability but pikachu does not okay okay here we go time to pop a oh they're gonna hit for oh they're gonna pass to the peak here okay um that's actually okay let's do this we'll retreat and i will pumpkaboo to get that path to the peak out And yeah, we'll take that out. And hopefully we get an out to Arceus. Thank you. All right. Okay. And let's go Starburst. 
and we want what do we want um let's go research and path to the peak so path research and the big thing here is that pikachu can one shot a vulpix Oh, yes. Okay. The stars are aligning in our favor here. And they're going to put an umbrella on. Hopefully they don't they don't run some some funky stuff here. Okay. We're going to play this straight up. I think we we're going to yellow it. And yeah, Snow Mirage, that's fine. That's fine. Cuz we're going to retreat into the Pikachu. We'll get rid of the double turbo energy. And we're going to choice belt here. And just swing. G-Max. 280 damage. And we get a flying Pikachu here set up too. And I'm not sure if it's worth benching the... We've, we've gotten rid of two double turbos. So at this point... If they, we, they're not going to be able to block us and we can one shot even without, even without the choice belt, we're one shotting the Vulpix. <laughs> Here we go. What do you got? And they have no cards left after this Vulpix. So this is, this is a GG if I've ever seen one. Pikachu domination yeah we just get the dub ggs there we go finally showcasing the raw power of pikachu v max and there i guess there's two benefits there right the benefit one is that with a choice belt we are one shotting every v star in the game except for reggie gigas v star which nobody plays uh second 310 HP is really high, and not many decks can take out a Pikachu V Max in one go. You can take out two, you can potentially take out two V Stars before they can take out Pikachu V Max. Thirdly, in this very specific instance, their move shuts off attacks from Pokemon that have abilities, and Pikachu does not have an ability. So we were going to plow through Alolan Vulpix no matter what. GG's. And up until like Brilliant Stars ish, Gengar V Max was really good, but it has fallen off a cliff. And especially in a world where Mew was the top deck, Gengar Gengar destroys Mew. Okay. Uh, this is not a an ideal starting hand, and we're up against Mew again. Um okay. What's the play? I still think I still want to play for the Pikachu. I still want to play for the Pikachu. And I want to Crobat here for some stuff. Let's go and Crobat. We still have, keep in mind, we still have Pocket Drapion in hand. I will, and we're going to throw down Path to the Peak and say Bet. Uh, still legal for a year. Hopefully it can come back like Reggie Drago. Maybe please. I would love Reggie Drago to come back too. We'll see. Um, and no, I don't. The Dawn, I don't have a public discord. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I know people ask that every now and then. I am not in a position to, to keep a public discord entertaining or moderated. So I just don't have one right now. Um... You can play you can play Lug Lugia right now with Gengar. That is a thing you can do. Uh what, what if we try Lugia V-Star, make a single strike box, one two Urshifu, one two Umbreon, two two Gengar? Um, so <clears throat> Alan Flames, that's the No! Damn it! Not the Marnie! Not the Marnie! Not the Marnie. Uh that's actually what's kind of what's happening. It's going the based on what's happening in Japan.
And thank you, Frodo, for renewing your sub. Much appreciated. Um, in Japan, Lugia is still a top five deck. And the difference is it's a single strike deck, but it's not with the Umbreon and the... It's not with those. It's actually with a Tyranitar and... Um, it's with Tyranitar and a Stonjourner. Okay, let's go Pumpkaboo this out. And let's grab ourselves an Arceus V-Star here. And we will pop off. And I think this is going to be uh, very bad for our opponent here. Let's go actually... We'll grab... Let's actually grab a Beebrel here. And that we can draw more cards and possibly draw into a like a research or a Marnie or something like that. And ultimate potentially draw even more cards. Uh no, we don't get it. That's fine. And we will Trinity Nova take out the Mew, get Pikachu set up. All right. Hot start. Hot start. Arceus going hard. Do we set up a... I think we set up a second. <laughs> oh, they're going to Alessa. Okay, they're going to hit really hard here, which actually does kind of suck for us. Oh, gosh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> This might be a problem. This might be a problem. You would choose Evil and not Stonjourner, as Mew may have Meloetta and mess up. Evil Tall hits for weakness. Yep, uh, the Evil Tall does appear in a couple of lists, but most don't run it. I think most of the most of those Lugia lists probably. I think they have Drapion instead for the Mew counter. Okay, we have to be mindful of how we approach this. This is still not over. It could be over here very soon if they don't get any energy on. And yeah, they need to... Okay. Yeah, the thing is, if they... Wow, they're going all in on these Genesects. They need a Mew really bad. And I think that if they get the Mew, we boss up the Mew, we hit it with... I think we hit it with, um, we hit it with Arceus. I would like to hit it with Pikachu, though. I really want the the Pikachu to do some stuff here, especially since they burned all their resources up to this point. Well, they burned two power tabs, so they're not one-shotting. They're probably not one-shotting Pikachu VMAX at this point. Okay. Oh. What's the, what's the play? What's the play? They really need an energy here. Even a double turbo. There it is. Okay. They're going to hit for 210. Um, yeah, the problem is if we don't take this out. 210. They might actually knock us out here. No, they don't. Okay. 270. I think we have to go. Okay. Let's play it safe. Uh, let's go Pikachu. Do we have the second Pikachu in the deck? Yeah, we still do. Okay, great. Uh, what we're going to do is... Yeah, because I can knock out the Mew and potentially take the game. But I I am an agent of chaos. And we're going to go and just knock out the Meloetta. One, two, three. And we're going to play with the Pikachu. All right, let's figure it out. <laughs> this isn't necessarily the way to do. I didn't want Meloetta to hit for for a billion damage here. And yeah, we could have taken out the Mew, but they could have one shot it. Let's figure it out. All right. And maybe they gust up the second Pikachu and that would make me sad. Um, Hopefully they just hit the Arceus straight up. 
that's probably the ideal play. And they still get a second Meloetta down. That is not ideal. We could also play for boss boss. Let's see. Is Drapion prized? Uh, I don't think so. Like, yeah, we could just Drapion here as well. Um, but I am... I'm feeling very greedy right now. I want the Pikachu to do some stuff. We can fall back on the Drapion, potentially. <laughs> Next turn, Raihan for Drapion. I mean, we could just win it that way. I really don't want to. I really want to... I really want the Pikachu to do some stuff here. Which may cost us the game, but if we can get Pikachu to do some stuff here, I would rather that. So let's see. What would be the approach? So... Oh, they're just going to boss up the... Okay. Okay. Sure. Sure. Do that. We do have the bailout strategy. We do have... Yeah, Drapion is chilling somewhere in the deck. If we can still hit this for 250, then... Then we're fine. What are the two attacks for Pikachu? Tail Charge. Attach up to three energy cards from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. Also 30 damage or G-Max Thunder for 250. There should be a second copy. Oh, we've used our second copy of Boss. Okay. Let's see. I don't think they... They're probably not going to attack with the Meloetta at this point. Let's see if we can make this work with... The Pikachu. That is the goal. Post rotation hits all V stars for an Oko with belt. Yes. I mean, this can be. I mean, this can hit. This can one hit KO V stars with the belt right now. Uh, but post rotation, yeah. And this actually gets better post rotation because of the. That item card that accelerates energy. And we can get to this more reliably. Holy cow. They are going to have four seal stone handy. And yeah, we're playing with our food a little bit here. I am hopeful that we can make this work with the Pikachu. But let's see. Oh, okay. They're going to burn the last of their power tabs. I don't, it's not going to be enough. I don't think. Okay. Let's see how they play it. Let's see how they play it. Techno Blast, not gonna be enough. 250. And we do get a capture energy. Let's go and let's see what we have. So we do have Pikachu, we do have Drapion in there we have double turbos and stuff all right here we go and i will actually we're gonna hold on to we're just gonna g-max thunder here for a lot 250 and they might psychic leap here and that would completely screw us over oh they can't psychic leap here they can't they have to attack here Actually, yeah, they have to do, like, a crazy sequence of, uh, yeah, okay. This is fine. This is fine. If they're just going to hide with the Meloetta, we've still got them. We've still got them. Pikachu hitting for 250, and okay, yeah, switch in. And yeah, we can actually, if they're just going to attack with this Mew again, we still win. And we don't have to use Drapion. We can just hit with the Pikachus. Which is the... And all is right with the world, right? There it is. There it is. There it is. 
they just do 50. All right, we don't even need that. We take the win. G, G's, Pikachu, VMAX, taking out Mew VMAX. Thank goodness. It took a bit. It took a bit. It took a bit for us to get to a point where we finally got the match we were looking for, but we got him. We got him. Mew VMAX having to burn a whole bunch of resources at the end. Not enough to take out the Pikachus. Yeah, the chonky Pikachu doing a fat 250. Um, and then we we had the second one online. We had the Drapion ready to go as the backup to the backup. And we we got him. This I I wouldn't necessarily say that this is <laughs> this deck beats Mew or anything like that, but um, we were able to, we did have multiple routes to victory there, and we didn't even need Drapion to take that dub. GG's. Okay, our opponent goes first. And we do get the Arceus, we do get the Pikachu. A double turbo would have been nice here to start, but beggars can't be choosers, and we're up against the Lost Box deck. Okay. Guess which card we can't play. It's a Giratina too. Okay. So this, this is different. We can one shot a Giratina with Pikachu plus choice belt. And that gives me hope. We also need the umbrella out. So now, so now it's a double whammy of like, do we, do we put the umbrella on the Pikachu or do we put the choice belt on the Pikachu? There's the Giratina. They are just going to scoop. And probably the Greninja. Like, you're not going to go Abyss Seeking right now, right? You're... The Mad Lad is going for the Abyss Seeking right now. Oh, no, there they're not. Okay. That was smart. That was smart. Okay, one, two, three, and now, yeah, start with the, okay, we probably, we want to hit the Giratina, right? We want to hit the Giratina on this turn, and we will escape rope. Ah, we could switch. No, let's, oh my goodness, okay. Okay. One, two, three. They're going to get six in the Lost Zone already. Yikes. Hmm. How's this going to play out? How's this going to play out? If we can choice belt up and knock out a Giratina, and, but yeah, we can't do Umbrella and... Oh God, they're going to hit the seven already? Are you serious? They got the seven with one Confei? Okay, well, there's two Confeis, but ugh. If they can Mirage Gate up already, that's horrible for us. Okay, at least we can get first swing on this Giratina. And that makes it a little better. Oh, they are going to hit the... Oh, if they can hit Pikachu with the Cram, uh, that would be very sad. Please don't. Don't have it. Don't have it. Don't have it. No, they've got it. They've got it. Okay, so we can't use that Pikachu specifically. That sucks. Um. Okay, I want... Let's go Escape Rope and Double Turbo. Escape rope, double turbo. Escape rope. And we're going to hit the Giratina now. Now, the thing is, if they go into Giratina V-Star... Um, oh, shoot. We have... I have to go into this Pikachu. Damn it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, no. Okay. If they have Giratina V-Star ready to go, they have Giratina It's going to get the one-hit KO here. 
Oh, they're just going to go. Yeah, they're going to keep digging. Okay. Yeah, this is horrifying because they can still. Let's see how they play it. Let's see how they play it. They can't lost impact or they can't star Requiem right now, which is good. However, yeah, losing the Arceus is bad because now we have to figure out how to accelerate something else. And I don't think we're going to get... I don't think we get a second Pikachu ready to go at this rate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They have ten in the Lost Zone. Okay, we have to get an Umbrella here. If we're gonna... Okay, we do get the Pikachu. That's good. We need the Umbrella. And an energy. Okay, there's the energy. And let's go and Crobat. Please. Oh, God. Okay. Um, I will get down another Arceus. I Realistic. Uh, or Flying Pikachu. Yeah, it might be Flying Pikachu time. Right? And let's go Marnie here. Okay. We are swinging for a cool 250. Oh, man. Uh, Alan Flames, welcome back. How are you doing? Uh, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Trying to make this Pikachu VMAX deck work. And it's been shaky, admittedly. Uh, is this my deck? Yeah, this is... I, I just came up with this. Ugh. That Star Requiem is really bad. Now, uh, the other thing... Yeah. Hmm. I, this, I think we're going to be out-tempoed here. Like, Flying Pikachu might not be it. Losing the Arceus was really bad. If we could have maybe tanked one more hit with Arceus. We can do it. This looks really sketch, though. Like, we can... Uh, hmm. Uh, one, two, three. You faced it on the ladder twice today. You thought maybe this is a regional winning deck or something. Which one? The, the Pikachu VMAX? No, this is... I just made this up. I'm surprised people are playing <laughs> promo Pikachu VMAX. I think it, it is cool for fun, but it is. Yeah, Arceus Flying Pikachu. Yeah, people are playing this all the time. This Pikachu, not some. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, let's go with the Crobat in the act. If they're just going to swing into the Crobat, that's not necessarily the worst. However, uh, this does actually slow us down because uh, now we're like even further away from being able to accelerate uh, Pikachu here because, yeah, this is still two more turns before we can get anything going. Okay, I will bench an Arceus and let's draw some stuff. And maybe we get a boss here? No. Damn it. That would have been too convenient. Let's G-Max Thunder. 500. If they have the right combination of cards, right? If they if they knock this out, like, we're screwed. Yeah, like, it's a pretty much Mirage Gate energy. And we're done. And they're going to Recycler here. Oof. There is a world where we could have done... We could have gotten it, right? Oh, and they're going to Roxanne too. Okay, we do have support in the Bibril here, at least. There is a world where we could have won this. And it's, just, it's not too late, necessarily. 
if we had got if we can take a one shot on a giratina with pikachu plus choice belt and then figure it out from there and hey it's not necessarily too late there should at least be one more copy of boss in the deck somewhere Okay, they get rid of some energy. I would assume that they did that knowing they have outs to accelerate that Giratina V-Star. But maybe they don't. Let's see. If they're stuck, then we potentially have a party. Okay, they're going to keep digging. Oh, maybe there's a world we can deck them out? I'm hoping for boss here. And if we can take out... Okay. Let's go thin the deck. We will grab blinged out Arceus. And... Let's go industrious incisors. What are we looking to hit? Ah! Okay. Umbrella. Amazing. And... If we grab if we grab another B roll, let's draw some more cards. Can we get boss? Can we get boss? Okay. We don't. Um We have the energy. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we Okay, I'm risking it. I We might not have any more energy. Okay. There's boss going forward. All right. Um, do we... Yeah, we have to swing. G-Max Thunder. Okay. Yeah, maybe it was worth playing Path to the Peak here. I don't know if they have enough juice. They might be out of cards is the other potential play here. Let's see. Two. We might win solely on War of Attrition here. If we can deck them out. Yeah, they're going to go down to the bottom of their deck here. And they have no energy to accelerate with Giratina. Oh, okay. They're going to Ordinary Rod some stuff back. Uh, horrifying stuff right here. Oh, God. You want a stadium which blocks basic abilities? Lost Box is just everywhere. Um, Klefki in the new set does that. And Weezing does that as well. Okay. Yeah, they're going to have to swing straight up. Oh, they're going to load up all the energy so they can do their lost impact thing. All right. So, yeah, we're just going to lose Pikachu here, and that sucks. Now, we, if we can go... Okay, this isn't necessarily over. Isn't necessarily over. If we can deck them out, um, we can still win this. Uh, highly unlikely... Highly unlikely. Incredibly, profoundly unlikely. Uh, what cards do we even have left? Okay. Um, we do have a right hand. We do have a lightning energy in the deck. Uh, I don't necessarily think it's worth it. We're going to go double turbo. Let's just get rid of, of cards here. Um, let's go choice belt. Make this hurt a little more. Let's path to the peak. And let's boss up this Giratina. And we'll, sure, we'll boss up the, the flying Pikachu for funsies. And hope they ha they don't have an out. And hope they don't have an out. Okay, let's accelerate to flying Pikachu, which I don't think is going to matter because we can't, we can't attack with anything other than this Arceus. Okay, and now we pray they're going to boss up 
Yep. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do we have a switch? I don't think we have a switch. This is... This just kind of is what it is at this point. If they have it, if they have it, If they have it. No! No! That was heartbreaking. That was heartbreaking. But uh Pikachu did its best. Pikachu did its best. It got some big hits in. It literally came down to the last cards. They came down to their last cards. And I, I think that Pikachu gets a hero salute for that. We we pushed them to the absolute limit on that. And yeah, really, it just came down to they had the right combination of cards at the very end. Uh, kudos to our opponent, Giratina V-Star, a very tough deck, going to be best deck in format post-rotation. Um, I can't be too mad at that. We'll take that. We'll hold that L. GG's. Oh, I early scoop. Not as satisfying. I always early scoop. I I am unabashedly an early, early scooper. If it means that I... If it means that... Okay. If an early scoop means that i just get like if I, if I know i'm already dead i'll just leave it's a waste of time to stick around otherwise i'm not gonna sit here and play another 5 10 15 minutes knowing that i'm just going to lose and we do have the drapion in hand which is very nice very nice um and do we just go into the... I think we have to go into the Arceus at this point. Let's see. Because we can't bench the Drapion now. That's the problem. Okay. We get what we're looking for. Uh, we can go... Actually... and Yeah, we don't want to play the Drapion right this second because we want to take a VMAX. All right. Let's go... Starbirth and go double turbo for sure. And I guess we power up a let's go with the Pikachu V Max or Pikachu V here. Okay. And we're actually going to take the early game turn one KO on the Mew V in the process. Oh, wait, no, we're short. Damn it. Stupid. Ah, that's bad. Okay. I forgot about the, um, the Oracorio. That's really annoying. Okay. Are they going to, oh God. Oh God, do they have? Are we? We're we're gonna get finessed by Mew here, aren't we? <sighs> okay, okay. It's still not over. Still not over. Technically, like if they knock out this Arceus, we take out the Mew V Max with the Drapion, and if they attack, we take this one out with Drapion. We take this one out with Pikachu. And we win. Potentially. Heads again! Oh my... Okay. Yeah, I do think they get the knock with... Um... They do get the knock with this Mew V Max that's currently in the active. <clears throat> Unfortunately, <clears throat> I think we have to burn Drapion here. Unless we... <clears throat> Unless we... Yeah, I want a one-shot on a fresh Mew. But I don't think we're going to get it at this point. They're going to play Avery again? 
Okay. Please go with the go with the fresh one. No, they're not going with the fresh one. Okay. Um, I think we still take the knock with this Drapion. Okay. Or with this Pikachu, right? Hold on. Um, yeah. Here, here's the play, right? So we will go. If we path and hit with the Pikachu. Oh, hold on. I have to play Pumpkaboo now. That's the problem. Okay. But if I Pumpkaboo. Okay, we're going to have to 4D chess here. Because I can't play Drapion now. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I don't want them to know that I have. Okay, this is the play. We rope a dope right here. Hopefully they just swing on this Pikachu and think it's done. And they don't Roxanne. They don't Marnie. And they don't path. If they path, we lose. But I think that's the only way we win. Please don't path. Please don't path. Yeah, power tablet up. Power tablet up. Do it. Do it. Do it! All right. <laughs> okay. Pikachu. 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 GG's. GG's. Oh, they got rope doped so hard. Oh, wait. Uh, Drapion still does it, right? Drapion still does it? There it is! There it is! <laughs> and we get the win! G G <laughs> okay! Uh, that is not what I was hoping... That is not what I was expecting for, for this match. But um, even with that rough start, we were able to find the line to take the win. And yeah, kudos to Pikachu V for doing just enough damage to take out the first Mew V Max. And we rope a doped them there, putting the Pumpkaboo. If we had played the Pumpkaboo, if we played the path and then the Pumpkaboo, we would have lost, right? Like we. We would have we couldn't have played the Drapion. We had to play it in that exact order in order to win. And had they dropped a path to the peak, we would have lost. But oh, that was kind of awesome. GG's. <laughs> Time to get out of here. That was a look at Pikachu V Max. And yeah, G Max, Thunder. There were times. Yeah, there were times where we got exposed with um that Pikachu not helping us out. But there were other times where Pikachu V Max's damage output absolutely helped us out this is definitely a fun way to play the new pikachu v max and like i'm not saying this is the best deck or anything like that but if you are looking to play with the pikachu v max from crown zenith it is totally a playable card and there are ways of playing it and we're going to explore those further if you haven't already seen them i do have at least one video playing this pikachu v max in a lost box deck we could, you could also play it in a Flaffy deck, which I think is probably going to be the hardest one. And then also, uh, you could just pop it into Lugia, which is uh, not exciting at all. But it is a thing you can do. So maybe we'll try that some other time. But for now, I got to get going. Thank you so much for watching. You can find me on all the things. YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram at in third person you can find me over at twitch at in third person where i stream the pokemon trading card game every sunday at 10 a.m eastern time and you can check out the website in thirdperson.com for more articles and videos on video games board games and other nerdy pursuits um yeah let's get out of here later can't find my outro screen bye